Aries, welcome back to my channel. Um, and this is a week ahead reading for the sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Wow. So the first message we have here is my past is blocking my future. Now, what's, what's interesting about this message here is that the energy surrounding this car is usually very heavy. But that's not the case today, okay? This is a very light energy coming through, a very light, radiant, positive, high vibrational energy coming through with this card here. So your person could be finally realizing this, or this is something that they really want to express to you at this time, but they're like excited about it. I'm getting that this is pointing specifically to when you came in contact with them or sometime at the beginning of your connection. But there's something here about timelines or timing specifically that's being highlighted. So when you first met this masculine energy, this was their stance, whether you know it or not. They were literally smack dab in the middle of their past and their future. So this is someone who was attached to something that they intuitively felt was way past the expiration date. And this could be indicative of a person, place, or a thing, but something didn't feel right to your person, like on a soul level. They felt as if they were literally being held back in some type of way. But for some reason, something about timelines are sticking out here, okay? So your person could have felt like they were either stuck in a lower timeline, or they knew that they were supposed to be doing something different, but they were stuck in this, in this type of energy, okay? And I'm getting that this definitely showed up in how your person initially engaged you. So something about their energy could have been really passive or very cautious. There was like this one foot in, one foot out type of vibe that they had with you. And this is the reason for that. So if you were wondering why your person was engaging you in a certain kind of way, whether in their action or in their speech, this is why, okay? But there's a very, very radiant energy with this card. Your person is coming through letting you know that they actually felt stuck or they felt as if there was past energy that was blocking them from their future. But what's interesting is that they are aligning you with their future, okay? And I'm getting deeper here. So, Maybe this is something that you needed confirmation on, Divine Feminine. Maybe this is something that you wanted them to explore deeper, okay? I'm getting that this, for some of you, this is something that you already knew, but you just wanted more information. Like you wanted to know how your person really, really felt, or you really wanted an inside look at what they were experiencing at that time. And I'm getting that you could pick up on their energy and their energy was communicating something other than their actions. But right now at this time, your person's energy is coming through very radiant and also very, very open. So they may be at a place where they're ready to really express this, okay? In a way that they haven't been able to before. Let's get the next message here. So the next message we have here is, you're so powerful. Yeah, so I'm, I'm getting a few messages with this card here. First off, this, mas this masculine is literally like on cloud nine right now. The energy coming through is very strong. It's like they're extremely happy about something and it's directly tied to you and your connection. So they could be in a very powerful position. I'm also getting that this is a very powerful masculine energy, okay? Very assertive, very cerebral, okay? This is someone who has a very, very strong mind, okay? And you could feel this immediately upon coming, coming in contact with them. But they also view you this way, Divine Feminine. So this is a mutual energy. If you're wondering how your person currently views you, they feel like you possess something very, very powerful, but it's also mysterious to them because they don't know exactly what it is, you know, that makes you powerful, but they just know that you hold this type of energy. And this is something that they immediately felt, okay? They knew this the moment that they met you. And I'm getting here that you had very, very intense chemistry from day one. 
but where you stand right now, you may be confused about your person's energy because something could have transpired in the recent past that makes you question not who your person is as far as their character, but you question who they are when they're not with you. Okay, I'm getting that clearly. So maybe there's a separation here or maybe something about your person's energy switches or changes. Uh, maybe their viewpoint changes. There's something here that's not consistent. Um, but this is a very powerful masculine energy that I'm getting. So maybe they're giving you this in-between type of energy and you know that this is a masculine energy that is very powerful. So you wonder if they actually know that they are this powerful because this is what you see in them. But they're viewing you in this way, Divine Feminine, because before they met you, they intuitively felt that something was off within them on the soul level, but they didn't know what it was. And the day that they met you, whether you know it or not, every single thing clicked for them. So you are the one person who was able to give them this vital information about themselves. And there's something here that keeps sticking out about these timelines, okay? So this could be energetically, this could be verbally. For some of you, I'm getting that your energy alone resonated with them so deeply that they knew you were someone that they were supposed to know. There was always something very magnetic about you in this connection, but I'm getting clearly here what stood out to them and what they feel like is the source of, of this powerful magnetism that you have is they immediately associated you with their future. And what's interesting is that it's your energy that gave off this information, meaning that they feel that you knew this as well or something down on the inside of you because without even saying it directly, this is kind of the energy that was over your connection. For some of you, I'm feeling that you both receive confirmation about the other almost instantly. And you know, sometimes it happens in that way where you meet someone and something within your entire being will click and shift and you can feel it. You know, you can get a physical sensation or a physical reaction. Sometimes it's an internal nudge, but for some of you, this was instant confirmation from a higher power that this person was important to you in some kind of way, okay? And, you know, it, this is how it happened, okay? It's like somehow they knew that the next level or the next stage of their lives were supposed to be with you, that you were supposed to be a part of that. And this is going back to the timelines here. So this is a divine feminine who's on a spiritual path. And maybe you felt like, this connection was intuitively written, you know, intuitively already written, okay? You felt like when you met this person, you know, a big piece of your future came together. Your person felt this as well, okay? Wow, this energy is very, very powerful. Something is definitely shifting. Let's get the next message here. Yeah. The next message we have is you crack the code. Yeah, they're they're viewing you and your connection totally different at this time. And I'm getting that maybe your person didn't fully understand you, okay? Because you were so different. Maybe you were different from their usual type. Maybe this has something to do with age, location, okay? This could be in many, many different ways. But I'm getting that whether you know this or not, Divine Feminine, you help this masculine break free from a major cycle. And this was a mental cycle. And what they want to point out to you at this time is how you were able to do this. That's probably why their energy is coming through very, very excited because it's like they want to share this moment with you. And I'm getting that you, you may not even be aware that this was their experience. Your energy is so powerful that you have the ability to actually change things. And this is what's driving your masculine crazy. This is like mind blowing to them because you did this from the inside out. It's, it's like the fact that you knew intuitively where they were in heart and mind, and you knew how to communicate with them in a way that caused a shift 
okay, is what's really mind blowing to them. So I'm getting something about darkness here. And this, I'm getting specific. So this may be very, very specific. But this is pointing to, or this is pointing out a divine feminine who has very, very radiant energy. Like people can literally see your light, okay? But with this masculine soul was something that they had become very, very familiar with. They understood that in order for you to get to that point, you have to navigate through the darkness because that's just how this journey works. No one is exempt from, the, from that process. And you may not know this, but this is a part of them that they've kept concealed. But something about your energy made them see things differently. It's almost as if they knew that you knew something about what they were going through because you appear to have made it through something very similar. Okay, so whether you know it or not, even if you're still trying to find your way, something in you gave them this impression and how you carry yourself is as if you have the password to like ultimate freedom and happiness. Like this is something that you have conquered and that you have mastered. So this is not a masculine who felt stuck due to a lack of information or a lack of motivation, okay? This is someone who had grown past where they were physically and nothing around them aligned with their new reality until they met you. Wow. So you were, I'm getting divine feminine, you were literally the physical manifestation of their new life in a sense. And this is in terms of energy, mindset, attraction. You were literally a vibrational match. And they felt this immediately. You know, sometimes we, we cross paths with people in this lifetime. And for some reason, their aura will tell us all we need to know about them. So something about how you carry yourself is, is being highlighted here. So this could be your speech, the way that you, um, the way that you, you know, communicate the way that you engage them, the, just, just your overall disposition, divine feminine. Something, it confirms something with this masculine, something that they knew intuitively on a soul level. And they knew that they were existing on a timeline that was way past the expiration date. And I'm getting that immediately upon coming in contact with you, something shifted, you activated something in them. But the way that you did this is with sticking out. So I keep getting character. Your person is impressed by you, but specifically how you handle masculine energy. So it's like you have a way of getting your way without, you know, without being abrasive or without engaging them in like a low vibrational way. It's like a very regal kind of energy here. It's like you both match one another's energy. I keep going back to how you carry yourself. This is specifically um, how you communicate, okay? For some of you, your energy communicated this, and this is blowing your masculine's mind because you didn't even have to say a word, okay? Or if you did speak to them, whatever you said, and specifically how you said it, was extremely powerful and resonated with them deep, like on a soul level here. Okay, so that's definitely sticking out. So the next message here is divine timing. Okay, so I'm getting clearly, okay, if this is resonating with you so far, divine feminine, um, this is a very powerful masculine energy that you have aligned with. And when you met them, they were smack dab in the middle of their past and their future. And this is something that you may have intuitively picked up on here, okay? And this may very well have showed up in how they engaged you here. But with this divine timing card, I'm getting specifically that for a very, very long time, your person viewed you as the right person at the wrong time. And they felt like this because of where they were physically. But they're in this place right now where their energy is extremely radiant and they're like literally viewing this entire thing through a totally new lens. Depending on how energetically bonded you are with your masculine, you may pick up on this energy as well. But as they revisit this, they realize that this was actually divine timing. This was alignment at its best because they're realizing that things have to first happen internally 
before they show up physically. So your person was in this state of visualizing you and maybe not you specifically, but they were in deep thought about this new life that they wanted. So when you appeared in their physical realm, okay, something resonated with them deeply, but they questioned where they were physically. So it automatically made them question you. And I'm getting that when you came into contact, your person knew you were the right person, okay? Because there was a deep resonance mentally and emotionally. But because they fell out of alignment in their physical reality, it made them question the validity of this connection. It made them equate, you know, this connection with being the right person at the wrong time, right? So what I'm getting here is that your person was looking around them and they felt like things were not perfect for you because you appear to be someone who was exactly where you were supposed to be. I'm getting that you possess this powerful energy. They felt this immediately upon coming in contact with you. Like they should, like you were supposed to be a part of their world or where you were is where they were supposed to be. But they were questioning this because their internal process was vastly different from what they were seeing in their physical reality here. So they definitely may have pulled back simply because of, you know, how they perceive their physical reality to be. Or they could have been hot and cold, okay? It's like their hearts were pulling them closer to you, but their minds were kind of tricking them out of what was actually happening. For some of you, all of this could have happened very, very fast, okay? And maybe they never got the time to really dissect this entire process and what happened. But now they see it clearly, okay? They're kind of understanding how these things work on an energetic level. And yeah, I'm getting real time, okay? So this is current energy. Things are shifting now. This could also have something to do with this new moon in Libra energy that's coming up on the 25th. Very, very powerful energy. So this could be new, fresh energy that's being infused into your connection after a very heavy emotional cycle has closed out, okay? This is also the perfect time to set intentions for your relationships, okay? I don't know that why that's coming out clearly here, but that may be relevant to someone. So there may be a divine feminine who's like really, really connected to the universe here, but yeah, things are happening in real time. They no longer question the timing of your connection because this was a big one for them, okay? This was a major barrier in your connection, whether you know it or not. So the next message here is, you open my eyes to the truth. Yeah, so I'm getting that. This is a moment that your person has been waiting for. And this could be very well why their energy is so bright, okay, and so high vibrational at this time. Because meeting you or coming to this realization is very groundbreaking for them, whether you know it or not. For a long time, this masculine energy was waiting to feel something that would kind of light their souls on fire. It's like they intuitively knew that you were out there, Divine Feminine but nothing in their physical reality was resonating with them. And this is a masculine energy that's coming through very powerful, okay? So maybe they met different feminine energies along their journey, but something about, you know, their soul, okay, being, and being lit up in a way where they would know, they would not question anything about the person here. And this is what happened when they met you. But what's interesting here is that the day that they found you, the day that they crossed paths with you, they question it. And now where they stand, even if you're at a distance, they feel your energy so intensely, okay? And it's like they know on a soul level that things are shifting solely for the alignment of this connection here. That's why their energy is becoming so powerful. This masculine has broken a major cycle off of their life, okay? They're no longer in this limbo energy. They're no longer assuming this passive position. 
that they were, you know, either in the beginning of your connection. For some of you, you could be experiencing this now, but you know, you know, to your core that this is your person. You know the power that they possess. And you have asked yourself, do they know that they are powerful? Do they know that they have the ability to shift timelines, to move past this stagnant energy? Your masculine energy is coming through very bold, okay, very excited because they don't question anything. The, the biggest barrier in your connection was the timing of them feeling like, I know this is my person, but why at such an inconvenient time? It doesn't make sense, okay? Maybe this is something that you thought of as well, Divine Feminine, but where they stand right now, they have absolutely no doubt about who you are to them, okay? Wow, this is beautiful. Let's get the last message here. Yes, the last message we have is everything makes sense now. Yeah. <laughs> They're in this energy of connecting the dots. Whether you know it or not, Divine Feminine, this connection has been a huge mystery to them. Okay, this is something that from the moment you cross paths, they were genuinely confused. Okay, imagine aligning with someone and your entire soul lights on fire. You know that they are important to your journey. You know that they are significant to you in some kind of way. But there's this energy of inconvenience, okay? You connect with them mentally, emotionally, but maybe in your physical reality, something is, is you know, imbalanced here. That is how your person felt. But where they stand right now, they no longer have questions about how you cross paths or the timing of this connection. They felt like because they were not physically where they should have been, that something was wrong, okay? And this definitely showed up in how they engaged you. But now they know that there is no such thing as coincidences, that everything happens as it should happen. And this is one, like this connection has played on their minds over and over and over again. They were trying to figure out why it happened at the time that it did, but now they know. You were placed on their path, Divine Feminine, to show them that everything they want is here in real time and it's up to them to either stay where they are or to align with their highest and their best timeline like everything is making sense now and this is why they are excited you cracked the code divine feminine and this is kind of this has kind of created a ripple effect so there's some very powerful shifts that are happening on the planet as well as within this dynamic so you may feel your energy rising Definitely because this is happening very, very quickly. Depending on how energetically bonded you are with this masculine, you may be assuming this position as well, feeling as if something is on the horizon here, okay? There's definitely new energy that wants to be infused in your connection. Your person is no longer in a state of confusion. They're no longer going to um, assume this passive position. Their minds are made up. They're understanding that it's up to them to align with their highest timeline, that everything that they want is here for them, okay? And they have to make the decision to go get it, all right? So this was a beautiful, beautiful energy that came through today. But these are the messages that I have for you all tonight. If you resonated with this message, be sure to hit the like button on the way out. If you have not already, be sure to subscribe to the channel and I will see you all in the next video. Bye. Bye.